Right. Hello, everyone. My name is Ulrich Vasilev, and I'm the community manager for Valero. Today is June the 7th, and that's the official community meeting. So please follow the code of conduct and practically just behave and be nice to the others. Um, I've pasted it in the chat, and I'll paste it once again, the Hack and D link to the meeting minutes. Uh, and I'm going to also share that. If you give me a sec. Yeah. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. Uh, yeah, we can see. Nice. Right. Uh, so please, everyone, uh, where if you like, uh, add yourself to the attendees list and add your topics at the status of dates and the discussion topics for today. Uh, so I, since I'm first on the list, maybe I can kick off, <laughs> break the ice a little bit. Um, uh, we've submitted two CFPs for KubeCon. Uh, one is a uh, dual submission with Scott, and the other one is panel submission uh, with Red Hat, Dell, and Vumer uh, for discussion the topics of backup and how secure you are you are within. So I'll keep you posted with this stuff uh, since I'm going to be part again of the review board uh, if I know something. Um, I'll, I'll share that. And for those of you like Pong that, that uh, registered already for KubeCon, please visit the link to the venue and travel. And I'm saying that because right now there's still available hotel rooms with negotiated prices uh, for, for KubeCon attendees, which are much lower than the regular prices, like $150 or maybe more. Uh, if you're 100% sure that you're going to attend, so you can save some bucks. Um, yeah, with that, I think I can give next one to Eleanor. Yeah, so um, I do have an update, a personal update. Uh, I have decided to take an opportunity and I'll be leaving VMware. Um, and so that does also mean I'll be leaving the Valero team. Um, thank you all so, so much. I know it's very bittersweet for me. I'm excited for you know the new opportunity, but uh, it's been such a privilege and an honor to work uh, on the Valero team uh, and to work with all of you to make Valero the project it is. I am so, so proud of where Valero is and I, I look forward to watching where it goes. So uh, thank you again. Feel free to reach out and connect, especially on LinkedIn. And uh, I, I hope to see you all at some point in the future, wherever our paths may cross. Once again, good luck at your new adventure. And that was like, uh, I don't like it that you have to live, <laughs> I but, understood completely. <laughs> yeah, but then I, I, I told Jonas and he was like, God damn it, why? But yeah, OK. Good luck with you. Wish you all the best. Wish you all the best, Eleanor. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Uh, all the best, Eleanor. Thank you. So, uh, you will you be in open source? Pardon? Will you be open? Will you be in open source? Not now. Not for my next role. But I, I very well. I wouldn't be surprised if I am in the future. Uh, it. Uh, I, I'm in amazed at how how many more roles there seem to be in open source related things. So I think that 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 may happen in the future. Cool. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next one on the list. Fong, that, that, that's you. I think review the plugin versioning part. Oh yeah. So uh, for my part, I, I already created a PR, uh, and and in this PR, uh, we still have a a problem that I do not solve yet. I should only create like a hack, like a workaround. On it, uh, which is the, uh, uh, the 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 fact that when we create a, a prototype, it will put uh, when I when we generate the the using the prototype that uh, we create, uh, it will generate uh, a content in a separate uh, directory that is not really uh, fit with the path. So I have to, if you look into the hack update. Uh, proto.ss5, you know, I will talk about that half. Yeah, so uh, you can see that the line, line 23, 23 and 24 is my workaround of the problem. Because after uh, generating the code, it will put it in that uh, directory, which is not 
matching with uh, the directory that we supposed to put it there. You can see the it, it put it in the plugin uh, packet plugin generated github.com VMware etc cetera, etc cetera, right where it's supposed to put it in the packet plugin generated period that's it but uh, because of that so uh, I would put it on like a workaround for now and I have create another bug for that separate <laughs> issue and I think currently uh, Scott's is, is uh, at side on that bug. I do not know if he is uh, working on it or not. So uh, that is just, uh, yeah, just a quick update. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to look at that yet. Um, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that's just a question of, you know, fixing the generation or some kind of include kind of directive thing, but I haven't really had a chance to look at that yet. Yeah, so uh, anyway, this 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 PR by itself, I think it still can still uh, valid. It can, we can still uh, merge it in. Uh, and then whenever we fix that uh, problem, then we can just remove the line 23 and 24 yeah. and hopefully update this uh, pro, update proto.ss file accordingly. Uh, yeah. But the, the rest of the file, the rest of the uh, PR should still uh, be a, 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 a valid and you can um, go ahead and, and uh, review them. This one is, uh, even though it looked like a lot of chain, but most of the chain is just like a, a change of a reference, right? like a data path reference, uh, uh, stuff like that. So it's, it's not ma my uh, major chain. It's just that uh, I just have to change the, 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 the reference of the uh, header file in, in the header file. In the import, if you're looking to, like, for example, this one, if you look, go up to the uh, a little bit, a few more. Uh, and at the beginning of the file, you can see that I live 50 right there at the bottom live 50, right? So I just add that. And from that on, anytime we, we reference to backup action item, I reference to uh, that import. Uh, before it was uh, referenced to Valero. And then now it's just uh, specific to that. So most of the chain are like that. It's very simple. Uh, that's it. That's, that's all for my update. Yeah, so you know, if, if you guys have any uh, uh, time, could you please uh, help review it? That's it on my side. Thank you. Anyone else? Any topics to bring? Otherwise I have a question. If someone uh, can step in on 21st and, and lead that meeting instead of me, I'll be at the open source summit at that time. So not sure how I'll be with the jet lag still. I'll be still dealing with the jet lag. So I'm not sure how it, it will come out. OK. Maybe we can discuss that in the channel. Or if there's nobody uh, who is able to to lead the meeting, uh, we can we can cancel that for due to the uh, open source summit. Okay, that was very short one and quick. Okay, with that, uh, if you have any topics, uh, please add them in advance so people can take a look before the meeting. And if you have any community related topics, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to discuss them. For example, future uh, CFPs or meetups or anything like this. So I'll be around and, and try to help out as much as I can. Okay, that was really, really quick one today. Thank you. And have a nice rest of the day or evening, everyone. And talk to you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, folks. Hi.